You ever get the idea that the content you watch is fake? I don't know if it's just me, but I feel like a lot of times when I'm watching a video or whether it's short form or long form, or even if it's just something written uh, like a LinkedIn post or something on X, I wonder if what they are actually saying is true or if it's just manufactured to get views. Like they just came up with a hook, they came up with the entire storyline, and they even faked the results from uh, the entire post just to get views. Someone comes on and they tell you that they make so many thousands per month or that they're a coach for this or a coach for that. I don't know, could just be the skeptic in me, but I feel like there is something missing about content now. Maybe it's the authenticity, maybe it's just the genuine feel of it, but I just feel like a lot of the content now is just pushed for volume and not for impact. I'm not saying all of it, but you know, there's a lot of truth missing. And by now, everyone knows that if you're creating content, it you can create a business off of it. Maybe it's from the brick and mortar business that you have, or maybe just some type of digital product that you sell. But everybody knows that you can create a business off of it now. And part of when that happens is you get a lot of these charlatans that come in, the people that are claiming to have this expertise in whatever it is. If you just go on X and you start looking at profiles or really even Instagram, you can see so many people are a coach for this or a mentor for that. And man, it it's it's cringy. It's cringy to the point that people who are actually real coaches or people that actually have done something and provide some type of experience, it really waters down the entire market and it just looks bad. It it just it just looks really weird and I can't understand it. I don't understand why people do it. No, oh, it, it's it's just real weird. Anyway, there's a point to all this. Uh, and what I'm getting at is this channel is evolving. So in the past, I used to make videos that are really, uh, I guess you could say, kind of like a lesson base or um, something where I would talk about a topic and um, create a video off of it. Something like monk mode or maybe 75 hard or just overall improvement. And don't get me wrong. I like those videos. I have always enjoyed uh, the process of creating them, but I got to the point where it just seemed a little monotonous. It almost seemed like I was preparing a lesson, like I was a professor or something. And like I mentioned, it lost some authenticity and it really just didn't feel right anymore. It felt like I was going through this same cycle of researching a topic and then creating the outline of what I'm going to talk about and then just making a video of it. But now I'm kind of at this point where I want to do something a little bit different. I'm in my early 30s here. I'm doing a lot of the same things that a lot of you guys are doing. And I feel like there's a lot of things that we could connect on. There's a lot of experiences that I'm going through that I feel like could either maybe help you going through yours or it can start a conversation between us both. Uh, and maybe we can help each other out. But right now, uh, I've been building a business on the side for a little over two years, about two and a half years, uh, all while working a nine to five. And, you know, at some point you always have to decide, you know, when is enough enough. And um, with my schedule right now, I'm kind of burning the candle at both ends. I'm, you know, starting my day at 4 a.m. and I'm not getting done until 8, 8 30 p.m. And it's nonstop. Uh, it's it's to the point now where the the side hustle business that I got into a couple years ago is finally to the point where it's producing and um, the day job that I have is steady and it's it requires a lot of bandwidth from both. So I want to really just take you through the journey of what that's like because uh, a lot of people talk about this subject where you know just use the hours that you have when you're not working your day job to build whatever it is that you want to build. And on the surface it sounds easy. It sounds like it's very structured as if things just shut off from, you know, the four to eight frame that I was talking about. And then you don't have to think about that from like eight to five, and then you can go back to it from five to eight 30 or whatever, but it doesn't really work like that. It's uh, you're, you're juggling both uh, all hours of the day while you're awake. And I want to just kind of, uh, you know, let you into that and see what it's like and talk about 
the lessons I've learned, the things that I've succeeded in, the things that I've failed in. And then hopefully you won't have to go through some of the pain uh, and we can just get you right to uh, where you want to be. Now, first, I don't claim to know or be an expert in any of this. I'm figuring this out along, or I'm figuring this out as I go along every single day. And I think, um, you know, I think there is a lot of us that are kind of doing the same thing. And really, the big part about it is that we just don't feel alone when we're doing it. Feel like, you know, someone is uh, on your side, or someone may be able to just bounce an idea off you and, uh, and feel like they can you know, execute that with a little bit more confidence instead of just leaning strictly on their gut, like they have someone in their corner. But ultimately, this is just a uh, journey of trying to create a life where it's all on my terms. And I know for a lot of you guys, you want the same thing. You want to have total control in your life. And, you know, as much as we try to control every aspect, we'll never have full control. But there are some things that I believe that we can be doing that help us feel a little bit better when we go to bed at night. Uh, so this is just a uh, really an in-depth look at what I'm trying to do to make that happen. May not be right, um, but based on what I feel, it does seem right for me. So I just want to take you guys along with that, and uh, hopefully you like this new style of content. It'll be a lot of conversational-based type of segments where you know, I'll just be talking about what's going on. Hopefully through it all, there's some lesson that you can take away or something that you can take from it that'll help you in whatever it is that you're doing. But, you know, I'm, I, I got tired of doing the same monotonous, just research a topic and talk about it rather than just talk about the actual things that I'm going through that will apply to a lot of people. So in this, you know, we're going to talk about business. We're going to talk about all things health, all things improvement, and really just life lessons that come up along the way. We'll talk about what it's like building something on the side while you're working a nine to five. And like I said, I don't claim to know, uh, I don't claim to be an expert about anything, but what I am uh, claiming to do is hopefully give a point of view that just challenges the way that you think. And maybe, uh, you know, in whatever you're doing, it just gives you a different perspective on, hey, what, you know, what could I be doing different? And then really just bringing in some of the realness to the content that uh, I feel like is lost, um, definitely from my content in the past, but just like an inside look of who I am as a person and how we can better relate. You know, I would love to start conversations in the comments with you guys and try to help you along the path that you're on. Hope you guys enjoy. Thanks for being here so far. And then here's to evolving. It's about 5 a.m. I've been up for uh, about half an hour, just showered. I'm in Dallas right now. I uh, I came out here for a work trip for my nine to five job, and um, hotel is actually pretty cool, um, pretty big. But you know, this isn't a video about the hotel. This is a video about the people that you work with and uh, why it can sometimes be a little bit hard to move on uh, and, and remember what you remember the, the point or, or the end goal of what you're trying to do. So, you know, when I started working in this nine to five about uh, almost two years ago, the majority of the people that I work with, I actually like, I like, I like working with the people as the first job that I ever had that I do like the people I work with. They're uh, very easy to work with. And uh, they're they're helpful. They're they're just good people all around. Uh, it's a it's a really small company. It's a startup, so uh, I think now there's probably twelve. There was about fifteen or so when I started. Uh, it it makes it tough sometimes because you you talk with some of these people outside of the meetings and the boring uh, corporate stuff, and you you start to realize, hey, these are real people. These are uh, these are good, genuine people that. They, they just want to enjoy life that like, just, just like all of us. And, uh, you know, when I'm talking to them, part of me, you know, thinks, man, I would, you know, I could just stay in this job and, you know, work with these people forever. But if you, if you get into this position, uh, that, that for, for me, at least 
I can start to feel that holding me back. I was like, well, if I actually did that, I would hate my existence. I would, I would be giving in to the life that I don't want to live. Uh, so it, it has nothing to do, you know, with the job. It has nothing to do with uh, the work that I do, but more so it's the relationships that you build with people that make it tough. But you have to, for me, I have to realize that I'm going to meet people later on that I'm going to have the same type of feeling towards. Uh, and it's going to be in what it is that I want to do. It's what it is that I'm more geared to do. I'm going to develop, you know, more relationships in, in a life that's in more of my own terms. So, you know, when you, when you are in face with this situation, you have to, you have to remove emotion from the situation and remember that it's, it's not a, it's not a finite feeling. It's, it's not something that you'll never feel again. It's a, uh, it's, it's a feeling that can be replicated. It's going to be new people. It's going to be new experiences. But just because you have an attachment to people and that you've gotten to know, you have to absolutely remember the, then the, how you feel when you hate the situation you're in. People being friendly and people being good people around you. Yeah, they make it easier for the time being, but you still have to go to that. You still have to go back to that and realize that you're not building the dream that you want to build. You know, that's that's a that's a that's a big thought that I had uh, over the past day. But I have to realize, hey, this is not what I want to be doing anyways. I can't imagine myself in this, you know, a year from now, much less 10 years from now. Absolute disaster, just absolute critical disaster if if that happens. If I'm in if I'm in this position 10 years from now, I have royally screwed up. I'll just shut it all down. You know, another thing is <clears throat> you you another reminder that I'm sitting in all these meetings during the day and you know, it's like <laughs> this sounds dumb, but it, it's all afternoon and I don't mind, you know, having meetings for what I want to do, you know, for, for what I, you know, the, the end goal to, to build the end goal. But when we're talking about building the dream of someone else, it's just, I, it's hard for me to get on board. It's hard for me to get on board and just be a peg in the system and everything I do. I want to, I want to have a leadership part and I want to feel like, uh, you know, I am actually, doing something more than just one little piece of the puzzle. In that instance, it's tough to stay engaged in these meetings and really provide a lot of critical thought. Say what you want. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, but maybe it means I'm not a good team player, but it's just not, it's not what I want uh, long term. But anyways, kind of getting to a rambling point here. Uh, I need to go downstairs and catch the shuttle so I can get back home. Um, but I'll talk to you guys later. All right, got a little setup here in the car now. Something I can just have a conversation and shoot a little content without, uh, with as little friction as possible. Something I could just talk and uh, I guess multitask. So, spent uh, spent a day yesterday in Dallas for some meetings for the nine to five. Pretty tired today um, because I I had a, a later night. They wanted to do dinner and then they wanted to hang out, and then I had to get up at uh, four thirty to catch my flight. So I'm a little bit tired. Uh, even though that's my normal schedule, it's it's a little bit different when you just travel. I think the traveling makes you a little more tired than uh, than you would otherwise be if you were in your normal routine, uh, even if it was at the same time. So, heading to the gym now. Uh, I got a one-on-one, -on -one, and then uh, I've got a foundations that I'm doing. A couple of people are just starting, so teaching them the ropes of Know, how to lift safely, how to move properly, and just the overall flow of class, uh, what to expect when they get in. So, um, 
It's about 5.15 right now. I'll be wrapping up at about 5.30. I mean, uh, 7. So, I wish 5.30. But 7. <laughs> so, uh, not terrible. 90 minutes here. These couple people that are going through foundations uh, do have some experience lifting. So, I'm hoping that it's, uh, it's, you know, it's rather short. I can kind of breeze through it a little bit with them, uh, especially given they've got some experience. I won't have to get into as much detail as I would, you know, if someone would, uh, were just starting out. So we'll give that a shot. But rolling up here to the gym, just wanted to test out the new, um, the new camera dock. So we'll, we'll see how it goes. All right, wrapping up at the gym for the night. It is about 7.20. Uh, got the foundations knocked out. Good thing about them, uh, these two people that I worked with today, they're uh, they're pretty athletic. They, they've done a lot of lifting before, so that worked out pretty well. Pretty fast, good movers. Uh, get to you know work on a little bit more of the advanced stuff so that was good um, now headed home had quite a bit of fat today so I'm gonna have to um, I'm gonna have to eat a little leaner for dinner make sure I uh, you know, don't overdo it on the fat um, just try to keep the macros as balanced as possible I got it I gotta hit the protein pretty hard I didn't get as much protein in as I should have today. Um, but what else? Yeah, I'll be I'll be going to bed pretty pretty soon. Uh, Seven twenty. I'd like to be in bed, honestly, by eight thirty nine at the very latest, so I can actually function tomorrow. Today was pretty rough. I was pretty wiped from the travel, so we'll uh, <clears throat> we'll shower, get to bed. I'll be up at four again. I got a one-on-one, -on -one, and then I've got the this class we're doing with the nutrition uh, challenge, and then I've got an intro at seven. So yeah, I'll be tied up till seven thirty or eight, and then back to it. But it'll be Friday, so that'll be good. All right, you guys have a good night. We'll talk to you.